Ball Company, headquartered in Middleton, Wisconsin. It just launched Conversations for Change. Now, this is an online series where female trailblazers actually tell their stories. And the first episode is called Four Generations of Black Voices. It features people working to ensure black voices and stories are seen as well as heard. And we are very happy to be joined by one of those voices, author Denise Lewis Patrick. And thank you for being with us. And you've published over 35 books, biographies, and historical novels for young readers. So you definitely have made your impact. And I, ha I have to imagine this is very exciting for you to be able to get involved. Can you tell me what led you to be inspired to do this? Children, uh, hi Carol. Uh, <laughs> children have have uh, encouraged me to be involved. I, everything that I write is to try to communicate with young people um, and and show them what's possible. Yeah, you know, an American girl is making these stories made available so that young people can understand and and maybe you know be inspired or maybe think of dreaming of different thoughts or paths in their lives. Can you tell me why is this important that we include such trailblazers for the young minds? I, I think it's important for uh, kids, especially kids of color, to see not only adults who are doing lots of different things in life, but to see other kids, other young people who have stepped out to uh, say what they feel, to even take action, like the, the girls, I call them future women, who appear in the video with me, uh, they're doing in incredible things to be 16 and six years old in their communities for other kids. And I think that's just wonderful for children to see and, and realize. And Denise, you know, a lot of people uh, don't ever find their voice or they have a hard time finding their own voice. Do you have any advice for any young girls or people just in general who might, might be trying to find their own voice and use it as they continue through life? Well, I, you know, I, I'm a writer, so I'm gonna say reading uh, is one of the things that I think is really important. And, and keeping up with what's going on in the world around you, whether your world is your community as it is for most kids, or also what's going on in the in the larger world around you to to know uh, what you know what what might be working what do you think might not be working um, and and then you can understand how you might feel about that and and begin to find a way to express that and maybe express some kind of change too. What has been the most inspiring thing about being able to or rewarding thing about being able to be part of this project, Denise? Um, I think it is communicating with girls. I mean, I look forward to actually meeting. I was excited, as excited, I think, to meet uh, Paris and Marley, uh, maybe more so than they were to meet me, just to see their enthusiasm and um, generosity um, in what they're doing and what they want to do. Uh, they, they, As much as they've done for being young, they have so much more that they want to do and achieve. And I think that's that's been exciting for me. Yeah, it's exciting to see uh, people have a spark lit, young people yes. especially. Yes. Well, we appreciate you so much. Author Denise Lewis-Patrick, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon at 3.30 and great you. project by thank American you. Girl. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well. All month long, we are highlighting stories of achievement and culture in the Black community, and you can find them. All you have to do is go to tmj4.com slash Black History.